hello guys welcome back to the channel so in today's tutorial we're going to continue with our introduction to uh, programming with python series so in this tutorial we're going to look at what variables are so in programming we're going to look at what variables are in programming and this uh, knowledge you're going to learn here is not just going to be for python uh, programming is in uh, uh, variables are in all other programming languages but we're going to focus mainly on, mainly on python because that's what we're trying to learn right so uh, what's a variable basically so we can think of a variable as a simple container that is used to store uh, data temporarily instead of the computer's memory so anyway, to store the data inside of the computer's memory you're probably looking at variables and you can use uh just not normal human words to store data uh in com computer's memory and then use the, the the same name that you store the variable to retrieve the, the variables back out to, from the computer's memory that's basically it nothing much just a container that holds data as you can think of a variable uh, is okay so let's just go into jump into the coding section so this will be left off from last time so uh just to mention this i'm going to be using a linux as we go through this so uh, i really show you how to set up uh, vs code and python on windows macbook and the linux as well so i'll be using i'll be following along with linux but everything should work uh, for windows as well in case there's any difference i will let you know okay so uh, you can also go and just press uh, right run here and just execute the code as we did for windows and you can still get hello world right here so it's the same thing and it's going to work for windows but i'm just going to be using mac because i'm, I'm going to be using sorry uh, linux machine because uh, i'm more comfortable using linux machine and i believe i can deliver for you a better value if i use linux machine that if i than if i use my windows machine okay so uh, once i have that done um uh, we can jump into it so i'm just going to go in down, uh, into our project folder this is the introduction to python folder that we created on our desktop so i'm just going to go we have a, right now we have a, a, a part part underscore zero one dot py file inside there so i'm going to go ahead and create a new folder i'm going to call this folder basic so i'm going to keep all the basic fundamentals of, of python that you're going to be learning so once i do that i'm just going to select on this file and drag it inside of this folder and let's say move okay so now i have moved uh, part underscore zero one into basic folder so i'm going to create another file in there i'm going to call this file uh, part underscore zero two dot pi okay so i'm going to create this uh part two dot pi file dot python file inside of it so once i have this file created i'm going to go ahead and jump into it so we're going to be learning how variables are so in the last row we learned how to print a simple hello world right so we say print and then we said uh, hello world just like this and once we have that you can simply uh, go ahead and simply run the code and that should now print hello world right here yeah, right so great so this will be list off from last time so now i uh, want one one thing i want to go ahead and do is also i'm going to be running my codes in the terminal uh in my terminal because the terminal has a better display than running it right here okay so i'm just going to be using my terminal to run the code so i'm just going to go ahead let me just close this up and i'm going to go into my terminal and this is just like cmd uh, uh on windows okay so you can open up your cmd and navigate to where intro to python folder is and i showed you how to do that on windows in the last row so if you haven't checked out if you haven't tried the last row or you forgot how to do that just kindly go back and see, see how you can navigate in the uh cmd okay so uh, whatever commands i'm going to be using on this linux machine it's also going to work for guys that are on macbooks okay so once i'm inside of my uh Py intro to python folder i assume all of you guys are here i'm just going to go ahead and simply do an ls and windows is equivalent is dir okay dir okay so even if you're on the macbook it's still ls okay so i'm going to change directory into basic my basic folder and once i'm inside of my basic folder you can see i have intro and i'm in basics folder so i'm going to do an ls uh, for windows uh, for macbook and linux is ls for windows is equivalent is dir okay so once i have that done i'm just going to do uh ls because i'm on the, on the linux book you can see we have uh, two files in here this is part one file and part two file and these are the same files that we have in here so good so once i have that in there i'm just going to go ahead and simply go ahead uh, and uh, run python 2 so i'm going to say python 3 and then part uh part and i can say part 2.py so i'm just going to ahead and go ahead and press enter if you're using a, a, a macbook again this command is going to work for you but if you're using a windows machine then you have to say pi and then the name of the file but if you're using a macbook or a linux machine you have to say python 3 okay so once you do you have that done just press enter and it's going to run the code and you can still get back hello world here and this is exactly what you're trying to print right here so good so once we, had, we we recap from what we did last time so now i'm going to show how to use variables so i'm just going to go ahead and copy this right here and just move and ahead and show how you can store this inside of a variable so you can just create a variable and variables can have any name that you want the only thing you can do is you can start variables name with uh, numbers or special uh, characters okay 
like asterisk or something like that you can start you can start variable names with those things okay but you can start uh, variable names with just normal uh, letters and words like that so let's say msg and msg is just for message right so i'm going to go ahead and simply paste what i copied which is just our hello world message so msg is going to go ahead and store this in the computer's memory so i can simply go ahead and refer to it so i can say msg and to refer to it i have to use a variable name so if i store something in the computer's memory it's going to be get get it's going to get stored instead of this variable name and if I, I refer to this variable name, it's good, the computer is going to go ahead and pull this out of memory and then just simply display. So this is the same as writing hello world inside of here. But now we are now using the, the variable to pull that data out from the computer's memory. So once we have that done, we can simply go ahead and run the code again. So I'm going to go back and run the code. You can see it got back hello world. So good. We can even say hello world. This uh, is a variable and then simply run the code again so if you run the code again i have auto save on so if you don't have auto save make sure to save your file before running it so you can see hello world this is from a variable this this is a variable sorry so good uh that's how you can create variables in python so uh that's that will work for you but in modern day python we have something called type hints uh this was going to work for you but you can also specify the types you, that we want because python is a dynamically typed programming language i mean that you don't have to specify the data types uh, of the variables that you create like which data type they have like this data type here is a string data type in other programming language you have to uh directly uh specify which data type you're working with in python uh, is, uh, the, uh, the python interpreter automatically figure out which data type you're working with but we in Py from python 3 i think from python 3.8 or python 3 yeah i think python 3.8 they introduce what we call type hints okay so you can go ahead and specify that this is gonna be uh, a string so this data type is called a string in python so anything that we have inside of quotes are called strings in python and in python we can use double quotes or single quotes so you can use this double double single quotes like this you can see the single quotes or you can go ahead and use double quotes if you want okay so i'm just leave for be single quotes because we've already seen it how uh, we double quotes already so that's how you can specify the type using type hint so you can say that message colon and then the, the, the type name so this is gonna be a string because anything inside of quotes we call it a string in python okay so we can go ahead and simply run the code again and we should get back the same output so let me just go back and run the code we get hello this is this is a variable good so uh, that works for us so now let's go ahead and let me show you how you can create other other uh, other type of variable so you can say number you can create a number here and you can simply go ahead and simply store the number let's say 90 so it's going to go ahead and create a number 90 and store it in the computer's memory and if i go ahead i'm simply going to go ahead and uh, print out that uh, variable and i'm just going to say number just like this and it's going to uh, auto complete for me so once i have that i'm just going to go ahead and run the code again you can see we have 90 great so uh, how do we specify that there are in python there are two main types of numbers the integers so let me just keep the type he types here this is going to be a string so this is a string and then we have uh, we have uh, a type there are two types of numbers in python mainly they're basically integers right integers and also we have flows that we'll look at just in a second so we can go ahead and specify how do we specify that this number is of type int so they say int and then equals to uh, 90 this is 90 uh, integer is just like a number without a floating point right so we can also have floating point numbers in python if you want so let me just say number uh, underscore uh, two so let me just say num two is going to be uh in this case we can say equals to 90.9 right 90.9 and you can go ahead and specify the type you can say type is going to be equal of float so float type so we have two main types of numbers are integers and then floating numbers okay so we have integers just without the decimal part and when, whenever even if i add the zero point here becomes sorry if i add a zero zero uh, 90.0 is still an a floating point number as long as we have the decimal but if i remove the point becomes a, an integer so that's basically how you can specify the different types of numbers so you can also go ahead and print number two here and you can go in the terminal and run the code now should it should return to us 90.5 90.9 basically so yeah that's how you can create uh, numbers in python and can specify the different store the, the numbers in the computer's memory and be able to print them out we also have something we call booleans okay so this let me just write the type here this is going to be a floating number and you also have something uh, known as boolean so boolean is just a true or false value so one thing you can not one thing maybe you probably had that computers work with ones and zeros right yeah that's kind of true uh yeah that's true actually so computers are basically binary do work with binary values and binary values are basically one or true one or zero so for example one means true and zero means false but how do you store such numbers in programming so in programming they have they have uh, advanced a bit so we just move on from that ones and zeros into booleans which are basically true or false so i can just say is underscore verify so you can think of your verified like your twitter account that is verified or not and you can say true just like this you can say true just like this 
okay so that's now that's this type is of type boolean and i'll show you how to check the type just in a second so that's how you can create a true a, a boolean true a true boolean value and make sure that python is case sensitive so if you write true like this uh, and it's not the same as true like this what i mean by a, a programming language being case sensitive meaning that for example if i write true and another true but one has a capital t another one doesn't have a capital t these are treated as two different things so that's what i mean what that's what i mean by uh a language is case sensitive so anybody a person tells you the language is case sensitive meaning that uh, uh upper cases and lower cases matter so small letter t is not the same as upper letter t even though the, we can read them this uh, with the same pronunciation right this is true and this is also true right but in uh, the case sensitive means that you have to keep up uppercase when uppercase is due okay so, so you can create a true boolean value so you can also just go here and just say is underscore verified and you can print it out and if i run the code again you should get back true and another, another boolean value that we have is false so false okay and if i run the code again you should get back false Good. that's those are two boolean values so true or a false so you can just say boolean so boolean value so and we can specify the type as bool just like this as bool so you can specify the type as bool and again the type hints aren't important in, uh, if they don't like compulsory that you have to use them but in modern day, modern day python as python grows as a programming languages most of the courses on the internet don't include type hints in their courses and it's a bit outdated as python is growing and more and more uh frameworks in python like flask uh, fast api are all supporting type hints so uh, it's good that you learn type hints that's what i'm teaching you from the basic but uh, one thing you have to know is that you can also write your programs with that type hint and you go online and find a lot of programs and Python libraries that are not uh, support that are not written in type hints. Okay, but you can use type hints whenever you want. Okay, so I just want to like uh, learn it from the very basic from the very basic beginning part so that whenever you run into type hints, you don't be surprised. Okay, well, what's this? And uh, I haven't really seen this before and then be confused. No, uh, this is just type hints and you can work, write your Python code with type hints or without type hints. Okay okay so how do i know that this is a type of integer this is a string how do i know all of this information now let's go ahead and actually print out that the, how you can get access to that information so you can just say type and let's say the type of msg so the type of msg i told you is going to be of type string right so you can just say type and then pass in the message and it's going to return to you the type so it's a type uh parenthesis opening parenthesis the variable that you want to check is type of and then closing parenthesis so you're just going to print this out on the screen so if i go back and run the code again we can see we get class str so str is short for string so if you look at string the first three letters are str so short for string so this you can see that this msg is of type string because it's storing a string value and i told you anything that is within quotes in python is a string okay okay so once we have that now let's check the type of number which type it is so uh sorry for that so let's go and go ahead and say number and once I have that done, I'm just going to go ahead and run that code again. So you can see number is of type int, and this the int is a so short for integer. So the, the first three the first three uh letters of the of the word integer are just int, right? So we can also check the num2. The num2 should return to us a float. So I'm just gonna paste that in there and then go back and run my code again. Now you can see it's of type float. Okay, so I'm just gonna clear my terminal so that you guys can see properly. Okay, so once I have this, I can also copy the verified one and just paste the paste the value for the verified value, and then we can check its type. And its type is of type bool, and a bool is just the four first four uh four right yeah first four letters of the word boolean. So that's basically it uh, for variables in Python. So that's how you can create variables. And as we go into Python, Python into depth into Python, I will teach you more and more about data types and different uh how you can create variables of different data types so these are called basically the data types so boolean is a data type float is a data type integer a string are all data types and we'll look more into data types as we go along but the good thing is python you don't have to stress so much on the data types but you have to know them because python is a dynamically typed language so not like in c++ where you have to uh you have to like a must like you are required to specify the data type right okay so python is a bit different because it's dynamically typed but these are the type hints and uh, type hints are meant to address that in python okay so now that you have looked at what variables are in python and what they can be used for let's go back to the slides and let's see what's up so we have looked at uh, what variables are now let's jump into what the assignment i have for you because uh i think it's very important that every time you learn something you practice it right you practice on your own to have your to develop your own thinking about that specific topic that you have just learned instead of just like 
uh, memorizing stuff from the video and to, it won't really help you uh, so i want to like you guys to really learn programming okay i want you guys to really learn programming that's why i'm devoting my time uh, to making these videos for you guys so make sure that you actually practice every time and do the assignments so that you guys can learn and, and at the beginning of every new video that i'm going to be uploading i'll be i'll be showing the uh, solutions to this assignment that i'm going to be giving you in the previous ones okay so in this assignment uh, what i want you to do is just create three variables to store your personal details store your age your your name right your age your name and then finally uh, whether you are a male or a female so go ahead and write the program that stores three values about you your name your age and then whether you are male or female and then just print that out on the terminal that's all i want you to do yeah so that's all i want you to do and uh, so we'll meet in the next video and thanks for watching see you in the next one keep safe